Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Hey everybody, welcome back to a quick beer review. Uh, December is here, which means around these parts, the team at Jow's Arcade and Beer Reviews, it's time to drink stouts. It is hashtag stoutmas. We're here for it. Uh, I drink stouts in December. It's what I do. So uh, we are going to start December off, stout miss off, beer from Great Notion up in uh, Portland, Oregon. I think they have multiple locations now, but um, this is French Toast. And this is a pretty label, very sessionable, 13.6% alcohol by volume. Uh, it is a, what does it say? Bourbon barrel aged imperial stout with maple syrup, vanilla beans, and cinnamon. Um, this says drink today. I got this beer last year. <laughs> from my man Craig. Uh, I meant to drink it last year and I just never got to it. So um, this says it is a, ooh, I did not know this. This was a collaboration with Horace. That is awesome. Uh, it says Great Notion Brewing and Barrel House, Portland, Oregon. Um, I actually visited them. I was there, it was for my 10 year wedding anniversary. So almost six years ago. Um, it's good times. They got, they have great beer. Um, I've had, I think they have regular French toast, which is the non-barrel age version. I think I had, did I have that? I think I did, I can't remember. Um, they had a blueberry sour that was amazing. I just remember loving all their beer. So yeah, let's do it. I didn't realize this was a collaboration with Horace. So um, I tried cutting this wax before we started as to not uh, bore you guys. Wax bottles, dude, like, can we stop doing that by the way? I say that every single time, I hate wax bottles. It's a mess, it's unnecessary. Holy smokes, I can smell that even at a year in the bottle. Um, December is always fun because I collect stouts like over the years and I throw them in my fridge and I forget about them. Um, I, <laughs> I forgot I had this beer. So let's do it. Uh, we are using our Great Notion glassware because you guys know beer tastes better in proper glassware. Uh, this beer is pouring pretty dark. It probably looks really dark on camera. Uh, it's got like a mahogany hue to it as it's being poured, almost like a cola-ish thing. Not a whole lot of head on that though. I gave it a pretty aggressive pour too, I think. It was glugging along, so. Um, yeah, I think I enjoy stouts because I limit my stout drinking to like a month out of a year, so I really look forward to it. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna chug stouts this year. It triggered a lot of people last year, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know why people got so upset that we were doing that last year, but it is what it is. I don't wanna upset you guys, so let's do it. Uh, pitch black in the glass, almost no head pinky finger of like a khaki brown kind of mocha head. Looks awesome. You guys probably can't see that label on the glass because it's black on black. So uh, let's see how the adjunct adjuncts held up over the last 12 months. This beer smells so good. <laughs> this beer smells super like fudgy chocolate. There's a definite vanilla sweetness. Um, the maple, I think, is still there. It's part of like that kind of, I mean, it shows, you know, there, there's a label of a Yeti like serving pancakes. It has kind of that buttered pancake thing. But just so much fudgy chocolate. Um, I don't smell coffee. Uh, oh, there is no coffee, okay. I was gonna say, I don't smell coffee. It's a good thing I don't smell coffee because it says there is no coffee. Um, but yeah, definite vanilla sweetness. I think it's kind of hard to, um, differentiate in this beer anyways the sweetness if it's maple or if it's um vanilla but it's definitely i think it's vanilla there's a nice like woodiness to it um a little bit of like smoke it just smells like breakfast it smells so good so let's go and taste it craig cheers cheers to the first day of stoutness i don't know how many stouts we're gonna drink this month but we're gonna get after it beer is thick. Ooh, that beer is, wow, that's good. It is sweet though. Um, and I didn't smell any cinnamon, but there is definitely like a cinnamon, what's the best way to describe that without sounding trashy? <laughs> um, if you guys drink cinnamon whiskey, Fireball, uh, it tastes like Red Hots or like Fireballs, the candy Fireballs. Um, this has a little bit of that on the finish. This beer, the mouthfeel is thick. It is viscous. 
tons of fudgy chocolate though. But yeah, um, I would say the horse part of this beer is the sweetness on the finish. Uh, Kyle's known for making super fucking Vetus pastry stouts, um, and this is no different. It is very sweet. Uh, at near 14%, this beer, there's a little warming in my chest, but it doesn't feel hot on your palate. Um, and it's definitely not like a chore to drink. Uh, I like the mouth feel like the mouth coatingness of this beer. Um, it might get heavy after a little while. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is really, really good. That kind of cinnamony fireball thing on the finish. Uh, it just kind of cuts down the sweetness. Um, and it works well with like the heavy chocolate that you're tasting. Um, again with this one, I don't know the sweetness on the finish that you're tasting. If it would be exactly vanilla or maple. Um, it kind of tastes like both. It would be like if you had some sort of like, I don't know, if you made pancakes with like, you know, if we're getting crazy, put like vanilla extract in your pancake batter and then put maple syrup on it, maybe something like that. But this is really, really, really good. I'm really surprised it's not as hot or as boozy, um, especially being almost 14%. So uh, there's a nice dryingness is that a word on the finish of that um it kind of gives you i've talked about with barrel aged stouts like if you put a toothpick on your tongue when you're using a toothpick in your mouth um and it gives you kind of like that toothpicky woody thing um that's there too with all the other flavors so um good good stuff great notion and horace i mean I, I now that i'm drinking this i wish i would have drank it fresh i wonder what it would have tasted like with more cinnamon um i'm guessing the year maybe mellowed out the sweetness i don't know but I love, I, if you guys have watched any of my stout reviews over the years in December, I love, 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 love fudgy chocolatey stouts. This checks that box. Um, it is a bit sweet. I'm not going to lie to you guys, uh, but I think it's going to be okay. This is, I'm drinking this. It sat out for like an hour, so it's almost room temperature. I think this is, we're going to get everything out of it that they want it, to, you know, that it could provide as far as like aromas and flavors. Um, but I think, I mean, this is only a 16 ounce bottle, so I think I'll be able to solo dome this. No problem. I'm going to sleep really, really good tonight. So we'll leave it at that. Craig, I appreciate you sharing this. I love you. Thank you so much. That's French toast. Great notion. And Horace, did you guys have this last year? Do you still have bottles? Crack one. I think it's drinking great. So Stoutness is off to a good start. That is it. I'm out of here. Appreciate you guys watching. See you soon. Cheers. Thank you for coming behind the bar in the arcade. All this shit. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.